and welcome to California Geology. I will be your instructor, Robert Lopez, and today I'd like to go over the syllabus and more importantly go over the Canvas management system. Uh, so from our West Valley College website here, uh, I, want, I want you to see that there's a Canvas link at the top of the page here. Canvas, you'll see your dashboard. You can see your dashboard will have all the courses uh, that you're taking. In this case, I have all my fall courses up here. And this class being Geology 15 is Section 51.314. So you'd click on that and you would go to our home page, right? And so I haven't published this yet, but you'll see that once it's up, you'll see Geology 15, uh, the home page. I have some contact information up here, my office uh, phone number, email, office hours, and then the, the two textbooks that we're using. We're using uh, California Geology by Deborah Hardin. This is the more important book. It's um, uh, more of a classical geology textbook uh, specific to regions in California. I want to go through the syllabus. So when you, once you get to the home page, you want to click on the syllabus. So this you'll find uh, more specifics about the course, right? So again, my contact information, my office hours. Uh, here are the two textbooks. Uh, one thing is, um, we're starting off with chapter one and um, some of you may just be ordering your textbook so I did provide the first five chapters as PDF files uh, in one of the modules so you'll see that in a moment I don't have this as a PDF but we won't get to we won't need this book for about um, about a month so you're okay without having John McPhee to begin with but certainly you want to have the Deborah Hardin uh, California geology textbook so again, the, the, the course is presented in two broad theme, themes. One is physical geology, rocks, minerals, tectonics, uh, uh, volcanoes, how the earth works. The second part is based on uh, the regions of California, and we call these these geomorphic or natural provinces. For example, the Basin and Range, the Mojave, uh, uh, Sierra Nevada. So the, the remaining chapters of the book are broken out into those specific topics. All the course material will be pre present, presented in this canvas uh, LMS, quizzes on there, links to external assignments or links to external articles. My, my YouTube videos would be will be embedded here. Um, the material will be presented in several topics under the modules tab. Um, but right away you can see that I, I have the textbook, the first five chapters here. So you'll click on these here and, and this will be your reading. So if we look at um, for example plate tectonics and the preface, yeah so here's chapter one with plate tectonics. Now, going back to the modules, you'll see that after this, I have my introduction here. And so here you'll find um, the, the syllabus quiz, right? So here's a syllabus quiz. And then I, I have a discussion form, but this is more of an open form. It's not graded and it'll be up for the entire semester. And it's more of a, of a, of a form for students to interact because everyone can be involved here. So if you have a question, you'll see that, that each... Um, a lecture topic has a series of study questions and I, I write my exams based on these study questions they're mostly questions based on my online lectures go here and ask you know did anyone catch question number 14 on the plate tectonic study guide and someone can maybe help you out there and they'll say oh yeah he did it in the second video and but anyhow th this is more of a form uh, almost like a like an online study group where you guys can interact with each other. Now, um, like I said, each lesson topic is presented in these um, in these uh, um, uh, modules, right? So the plate tectonic module uh, is it's open. It'll open on the first day of class. And you'll see that it closes Tuesday, September sixth at eleven fifty five p.m. That means all the work in this module needs to be completed and submitted by that time, which includes a, sub, uh, an, a second discussion, right? This one is graded. You see it's worth 25 points, closes on the 6th. Um, I'm going to have you look at this animation. These, there's several geode animation, animations. So when you click on these, um, you, your, your browser may not want to open it, but you want to uh, click on this link up here at the top, and it should open a second window. And this takes you to the geode animations. You'll see that with the geode animations, there is a quiz, right? So here's a tectonics quiz based on those animations, right? And that again closes September 6th. In fact, uh, so that's kind of the deal with the modules, right? You know, you can see the minerals module up here is due on, on Tuesday the 13th. So you know, here we just went to the modules tab. Now here I call this the contract. 
right? So one thing about this course is I ha I'll have a series of online lectures. I want you to take notes on them. Uh, and I have those study questions. And remember, those study questions are the ones I use to write the exams, right? Uh, we're going to have four exams. Uh, and you can see the exam dates are here. And you'll see that the exams will close on Sunday nights at 11.55. The only one that's not going to close on, on a Sunday night will be the final, which will be Saturday, December 17th, uh, because that's the last day of the course. Now, in terms of the quiz, well, one thing about the exams is that they are timed, right? There is a time limit. So you, when you take these exams, you want to make sure you have good internet connection uh, and, and quiet time. And that is that there's only one attempt, only one attempt on the exam and they're tied and timed. Now, in terms of the quizzes, these are not timed. And I let you take the quizzes twice, right? And so, and I take the better the two scores for the grade book. So I mentioned the syllabus quiz, which is due on the fourth. Uh, remember everything, all, everything in those modules, they will be due weekly on Tuesday nights, 11.55. Are the discussion forums, and that's another way of kind of gauging class participation. So you can see the discussion forums are worth anywhere, usually I say 15 to 25 points. So here's an average of 20, 20 points here. Um, so that's a, a pretty big part, part of the course. You want to make sure you keep those discussion forums. Some of them only require one post. Others require you to to reply to somebody else's post as well. For each lesson, each module, I have this, this e-learning guide, right? The e-learning guide is really important because here I, I give specific instructions for this particular week. For example, on plate tectonics, you can see that uh, I want you to read the textbook, uh, take the chapter one the canvas quiz, right? So that's on the reading quiz. Uh, you want to watch that GOD animation on tectonics and then take that GOD tectonics canvas quiz, right? Then you want to watch my lectures. Uh, take notes on those lectures and answer the study questions, right? Because those are the study questions that are, are, are used for the exam. You don't have to turn in the study questions. I don't want them. those are for you for your uh, uh, for to help you with the exams. And then you want to, in this case, you want to post to the tectonics discussion forum. I have the topics here. And also note, for this discussion, I do want you to post to somebody else's as well. So there'll be two things you'll be doing there. So back to the syllabus here. So we talked about the participation in the discussion forums and my online lectures. Student expectations. Remember, you want to have at least eight hours per week, possibly more. I recommend going to the West Valley College uh, e-learning page here and looking at some of their videos. And some students are spending up to 15 hours a week on their three-unit course, their online course. So it kind of gives you an idea of the commitment you need to have for this class, right? And then uh, a good way to succeed in this course is by logging on to our, our Canvas page every day. Uh, and, and especially, you know, at least try to watch one of my videos a day. Uh, uh, they're 8 to 15. They're all less than 15 minutes, right? And so uh, you can watch one or two uh, per day there and then kind of go through some other topics that I have in there. I will have a field trip. Uh, it's not mandatory, and it's, I'm going to do it through my my face-to-face -face classes, uh, my other geology classes. But uh, you're welcome to come. I'm not sure the dates yet, but it's either going to be the Pinnacles uh, here in the in the coast ranges, or I may go. Um, I may get some reservations for Yosemite well, in late September, early October. So I'll have more info on that uh, by the second week of September. As I was mentioning earlier. California geology is going to be broken out into the physical process, processes and eventually we'll get to, to um, the, the processes that involve uh, the different provinces of California. So you'll see that each chapter in this book is going to be broken down into um, the geomorphic province. And that just means that uh, each one of these provinces is outlined by some geologic feature, whether it's a, um, uh, whether it's a fault line uh, a, a series of rock types, right? We're not going to be able to get to all of these provinces in this in this course because um, we just won't have time. I mean, there, there's quite a bit of detail to them, and, and also we're going to be spending about three to four, well, actually about four weeks uh, on on background material just to understand the geology of California. We need to understand the processes uh, uh, of geology, origin of magma, plate tectonics sedimentation, metamorphic rocks, and identification of minerals, right? Uh, but we will get through a number of these. Um, one thing I want to do before I, I end this, uh, our little introductory talk here, is I want to just mention that California has um, a state mineral, there's a state gem, uh, a state fossil, 
and the cat and the state rock. So you probably know some of these, right? So let's um, uh, let me let me show you the first one, which is probably cool. The first one we'll do the the California state rock, and I have the state rock right here. This rock is called serpentinite. Serpentinite is actually a metamorphic rock, and it has an unusual origin. It comes from the the ocean, from the deep oceanic crust. Uh, actually, rock from the sea floor somehow is now here in California and makes our state rock. So uh, the tectonics, the origin of this rock is really uh, 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 quite amazing. It's a green rock. Sometimes it has this mottled color like you see here. Um, slippery. Um, in fact, uh, recent studies have shown that this rock occurs deep within the San Andreas Fault Zone and may be a reason why we see a, a, a motion on the fault called a, a creep motion. So anyhow, um, uh, serpentinite, California state rock, rock, metamorphic rock. Then um, we also have a state fossil. And so the state fossil is right back over here. My friend uh, Smilodon. So Smilodon is a, uh, a saber-toothed cat. Smilodon californicus is a, is a full genus and species. But uh, this animal uh, uh, was around walking here in California um, uh, as little as about 11,000 years ago, right? And so uh, quite an amazing creature. So uh, California State Fossil, Smilodon. And then we'll put this guy back over here. And then our, our state mineral, well, in fact, our state mineral is gold, right? And I have a little bit of gold here, or what we call it is gold ore. And, and there's little, little gold seams in here. We'll put it down in here. Maybe you can see the little gold in there. And um, uh, I don't have a, a really nice big piece of it, but if we zoom in a little bit on this, you might be able to see some of that gold in there. So there's a gold, California. Uh, so when we do the Sierra Nevada, we'll, um, there's, a, there's a nice expression of it right in there. Um, we'll talk quite a bit about the, about the origin of gold and how it got into these quartz veins, right? And that's one of the places where we find them. And we'll talk about the difference between plaster mining, which is uh, uh, panning, and then the, the load mining, which is actually going down and getting this hard rock, so you have to go underground. And then finally, the last mineral, which is pretty interesting, is, um, well, actually, the last um, part of California here that I want to discuss is the state gem. And the state gem is called benitoite, and it's uh, quite precious. It's a barium titanium silicate. And... Um, uh, if you look on eBay and look for Benito White, it ranges in a variety of prices. It can be quite expensive. Um, uh, found that, in fact, it's found in several places around the world, but only in California does it form nice gem quality crystals, right? What I'd like to do is see if I can turn down the lights a little bit here, because Benito White has an unusual uh, uh, fluorescence. Under shortwave um, uh, light, let's turn off the big light here, it's going to give a, an unusual uh, 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 fluorescence where basically the black light is going to excite the mineral and, so, and, this, and the, the, the wavelengths are allowing an emission of light here. So benitoite is quite unusual. In fact, one way to find benitoite, uh, if you're hiking around the coast ranges looking for sources of benitoite, what you'll do is you often prospectors take one of these black lights with them going around in the dark and seeing what they find. And um, who knows what you'll find, but Benitoite, uh, California State Gem. So just tend to summarize what we, what we have here. We have the, the state mineral, which is our gold, uh, the Benitoite, which is a state gem, uh, uh, Smilodon californicus, which is our state fossil, and then uh, Serpentinite, which is our, our state rock. So there you go. Um, well, anyhow, again, I'll welcome you to California Geology. Uh, I'll have more of these little online lectures. Um, I'll have a series of them beginning uh, really on Monday for Play Tectonics. Um, and more importantly, don't forget about the, the syllabus quiz, uh, which will deal on reading that syllabus, plus knowing the state fossil, the state rock, state gem, and the state mineral. Anyhow, we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.